Yennefer's suspicions proved true. Ciri had appeared in Skellige. She'd arrived from another world together with a masked mage. She and the mage had fought the wild hunt before fleeing through portals that carried them to Belen. There, one trail ended, another began. A good time later, the wild hunt had reappeared on Hindusfjall, meaning Ciri, too, might have returned to Skellige. All right, everyone. Welcome to part eighteen. Now I've been dying to play this game, like just to do some behind the scenes stuff. But uh, no, instead I decided to stop midway through a mission, so I couldn't do that. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be finishing this quest part, or at least advancing it a bit more. And I might be going to Hindersfall to find out what's going to happen there. All right, there's series there. Just got to follow this tramp. All right, come on, let's go. Come on, you lead the way, series. I think this is probably the only time I'm gonna stop midway through a mission because I don't like it. the warriors will take matters into their own hands. Castles are buzz already. Think they'd attack Crack openly? My father or each other? All in the finest Skellige tradition. Haven't had a good civil war in ages. She's she's got an Irish accent. I wonder why I like her. Fuck's sake. Makes sense. It was all too calm. Funny. Wanbold said the same. For a feast to be any good, mead's gotta flow, but so does blood. Might say he got his wish. Alright, come on. Alright, well, I'm glad they're they're talking and I really hope Elmar's so. doing something useful, not just looking for a fight. Relax. Your brother's impetuous, not stupid. It's locked. Do you wanna open it? There we go. Keep the poison at the cellar's other end down below. Come, I'll show you. Examine the cellar. Okay, right. Well, you just get there. <coughs> the stench! Is that vodka? The Hackerman spirit. Someone ruined several barrels right of the finest. You. That's a relief. Um, oh, would you look at this? It's everywhere. Jesus Christ. This mead's clean. And there's one here. Excuse me, Moss, if you play. Blood and mushrooms. Think we can find out where this barrel came from? Looks different. No, good thing. What the? Shit. The spirit! <coughs> There's another place behind the barrels, but they're too heavy. We'll never move them. Don't intend to. And. Quick. Okay, I can't actually. That was interesting. Let's go. I want to loot all that. We might have been burned alive. Somebody's damn desperate to bring our investigation to a quick end. Oh, place of power. Dalian's hum is a secret passage. Place of power. It's got to be. <laughs> Sorry, series. Bygone days. <laughs> sorry, sorry, series. I had to get that. I get experience points for that. Or no, I get the upgrade points. There we go. I knew I'd get it right. When I get my hands on that pyromaniac. Let's think. They had to use the entrance we used. Maybe they left some prints behind. Maybe. When the door slammed shut and the fire broke out, did you hear a bottle shatter too? No. <laughs> but I have no witcher sense at my disposal. You must hear the hair growing on my head. <laughs> I try not to eavesdrop. Anyway, entrance is worth checking. Come on. All right, I've moved the mic position like for this, for this part, and it's. And I'm not sure if it's any better or not. Oh, we can loot all that. Yeah, I'm doing that. Oh, would you look at this, guys? See, I have a lot of stuff now, so uh, I'm gonna collect all this. Oh, you can hear the clicking. I guarantee you can hear the clicking. Just don't mind me borrowing all the stuff. Don't, don't mind me. Right, let's just get on with this quest and get it done. Do you wanna... Hello? Series? Open, please? Right, well, you're clearly not gonna open it, so I'm just gonna take whatever's left here. Please open the door. Why won't you open? Woman? Around the cellar. Why is it leading me there if it wants me to look for tracks around the cellar? Back to the cellar then? Oh, 
It was right below me. Come on. Someone walked through the mead. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, no, that won't let me see it. Could you ask for clearer prints? Sticky from the mead. Okay, let's go. Let's just run up the stairs. Yada yada yada. Trail breaks off. Need to find another clue felt his clothing rip. Something else to was in a hurry. What's this? Piece of cloth. No, it can't be. What is it? Arnfeld's tunic. Only he wears this kind. Sure about that? Saw him in the main hall with the servants. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, jeez, Irish accents are so fucked. Jeez, she's really busting ahead of me. Look, Here we go. Grab a horse. We'll chase him down. Let's roach around. Let's go. No, don't worry. I'm about to kill him. I'm catching up. As long as everyone gets out of the way. Don't stand a chance. Way to see you, Bartax. Come on. Yeah. What, what do you mean you got him, serious? I got him. I barred him. You betray them. Talk, or I'll finish what I started. No on creator should ever sit on Skellige's throne. I know you better than others do. You're hot-headed, irresponsible. Skelliger needs stability. A strong king, not the kind a band of drunken jarls will choose. Curious. Never heard you voice that idea, but I do know one who never stops saying it. It's Bernard Bran, isn't it? You were never a good liar, Arnvald. Oh, the, the gate just slammed outside. I'm sorry for that. What was her motive? It's obvious. She schemed this up to get rid of the other claimants. Slander or clan in the process. If she succeeded, Spanriga would have been left. The only claimant to Skellige's throne. Yeah, I would like some you proof. Proof. Your word against Berners, that's not enough. Anvald, help us. And I'll ask my dad to grant you an honorable death. I'll insist. I have letters from her. Instructions. How to poison the mead. But she never signed them. There's no seal. Will that be enough? It'll have to be. We shouldn't delay. <laughs> oh, the guard just took. <laughs> All right, well that was that was fun. If I had just played for an extra twenty minutes, I would have got it done. But I was near in two hours. All right, here we go. I've assembled the yarls in council as you demanded, Saris on Crate. You claim to know who's behind the slaughter at Care Trolder. Speak then. The blood of Skellige's sons and daughters. Whose hands does it stain? Burn our brands. The lass is mad. Do you think anyone will believe you? You had them serve poison mead to the berserkers. I beg your pardon. The servants of Care Trolda are not mine to command. Twas your father who called for the feast, who assembled the guests. There's reason in these words. Have you any proof to confirm your accusation? I've better. I've a witness. Arnvald. Sarah speaks true. Bernard commanded me to poison the maid. When Sarah and the Witcher descended into the cellars, you betrayed us. The clan that took you in. Good man. He's a servant to Ancreate, a lackey. He will say what they command him to say. He would lie for them even were he to pay for it with his head. Bernard speaks true. Arnvald has served a care trolder ever since I remember. Loyally, look a dog. Um. Yeah, well, let's go to. I can not? vouch for Ceres. She's telling the truth. You, yet another uncreate lackey. Did Ceres entice you to cooperate? I can imagine how. Or has Crack paid you to smear my name? What did you say? Calm yourselves. After what I saw on Speaker Rock, I trust the Witcher more than I do you. You've that right, but it's no proof of my guilt. No, uh, this showed the evidence. Come on, gets the point. Got one more piece of evidence. 
A letter from Bernard to Arnbald, instructing him how to spike the mead. It lacks my signature. It lacks my seal. But perfume soaked through the parchment. A very strong scent, you know. Still to be sensed. <laughs> Is this your proof, lass? Is this what you call evidence of my supposed treason? Don't make me laugh. Burn is right, Saras. Tis all precious little proof of her wrongdoing. Alas, your brother Hjalmar also has not presented anything that could clear your family's name. We've but one path left to us. Holger, Lugos, it's time we quit this damn castle. Come, we must decide what punishment Clan on Crate will face. Uh, no, we'll say making a big mistake. We'll get to the point. You're making a big mistake. Silence, wanderer. I want to kill her. Wait! Mother, you bade me to leave the hall before the feast. Why? Son, not now. Why did you do it? How did you know? Hi! He stands silent. You gave Ceres no credence. Give the Witcher no credence. But you must give credence to a son who accuses his own mother. The massacre was her doing. She shamed herself. Me. The family. The clan. Good man. Son, Rika, I did it for you. Only for you. For ye. You. <laughs> you admit to this deed. As the eldest of the Jarls. I cleanse the name of Clan on Crate, and you, Berna Bran, I sentence to death. You will be chained to a rock to perish of hunger and thirst, and sea fowl will peck apart your remains. Well, that worked out in the end. I thought we fucked up. I was going to reload. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I'm glad that happened. I didn't want to reload. <laughs> I genuinely thought I fucked up. Alright, so now to what's her name? When Yennefer. I had a lust for power, I knew this. But so strong as to commit such a crime. What about Svanriga? What's his fate? He'll lose his home, his name, his honor. He'll choose exile. Or death. But enough. Whatever comes we must endure. I thank you, Geralt. Again. No need. Again. I'll not take any more of this modesty. This is a land of heroes. Let this remind you of that. And now, I must ride for Gedinate, for the Jarl's council. Time to pick a king. What do you think? Who'll get the nod? Come with me. See for yourself. All may listen to our deliberations. I will happily go. I do have a horse in the race. Can't refuse, to be honest. As I thought. Well, let's go. This is interesting. So are we going straight on to the other quest or do we have to get there ourselves? As I'm still not finished with Yennefer, I don't want to push that quest line too far without keeping up with the Siri one with Yennefer. I'm not sure if that's how this game works or not, but I know some of the, some of the games that I've played, if you push one quest line too far, you fuck up the other one. Alright, anyway, let's see what they're going to do. Today, our mourning ends. Today, by the grace of the gods and the clans, a new ruler takes the crown. Oh, yes. Let us swear her fealty. It worked. I helped her. Get it. So that means that Skellig is safe now. You should even fix her hair for some would see another in my place. I thank those who stood at my side. Here, beneath the sacred oak, I pledge to be a good queen to the ones and the others. I want peace and prosperity to reign in Skellige. And I count on you to help me fulfill that 
dream. Ceres! 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 Oh, Lugos is gone. He's had enough. He's a bit quanky. <laughs> Alright, so Ceres is in charge. That's good. I thought that would be like one of the fat, like the last things you do. Something here. Hello. Drew. Thank Mother Nature she didn't skimp on my voice as she did with some others I know. See, one of us, a girl, went mute all of a sudden. No spell or potion helps him. But it is said strong emotions and experiences can restore speech. So I thought perhaps you might. I'll pay you, of course. It give you an excellent Gwent card. Yeah, I I'd like a Gwent card. Suppose I could try, but I wouldn't even know where to start. You want me to scare him? Aye, good, good. That should do it. Scare, irritate, whatever you wish, provided you do him no harm. You can usually find a gill near the hallowed oak. Man, he's probably praying in his heart for a cure. All right, we will do that. Okay, so he's supposed to be down there. We're gonna save it just before we do that. This is, I think I might include this like one long clip rather than cutting it out. Should, what the, oh my god, there's so much talking. Talking druid, is this him? Are you the silent druid? Oh yeah. Dumb question. Alright. Uh two and then one. When do you lose your voice? Can you show me? Hold up some fingers. Charming man. Well, yeah, I guess the point. They ever try to cure you some other way? Give you potions or herbs? <laughs> Not just mute. Seems he's deaf too. <laughs> <sighs> Doesn't look like we'll figure much out talking. So long. Talking won't get me anywhere. Okay, right, I think we've done it. I saw already you. Oh, wow. Happy? Yes. Say sorry, I was tricked. Oh, sorry. Someone tricked me. I thought. Boo hoo hoo! My deepest sympathies. Now get out of my sight, you imbecile! What a lovely human being. He deserves to die. I would kill him if I could. Oh, look at that! The lag spikes. Ooh, Jesus. What is this? Druid, is this you? <laughs> Heard him screaming clear over here. Grand work, Witcher. Your reward as promised. Yeah, we'll say that. This one. Don't like being played for a fool. Remember that. Or next time, you'll be the one left speechless. Anyway, what did I get? Look, all I want to know is what card did I get? What's up, Sacred Grove? Master Alchemist's interesting. Looking for someone who'd know some Master Alchemist formulae. And you're looking for Gramist? Never heard of anyone who would know more about plants and their attributes than he. Where can I find him? Here in the grove. He's got a grotto. But Gramist, well, he's a tad eccentric. And he stopped taking on apprentices ages ago. I mean, let's, let's see what you can what do you get me. Deal in these days? Mostly coke. <laughs> What's all this? It's just points. No, it's manuscript. Arch Griffin. Don't really care about your decoctions. I can't sell them weapons. Mm. What a whore. Farewell. Yeah, you're a pointless one. Right, I'm going to go and find Yennefer. I think. Actually, let's have a look at the quest together. So you have missing persons. This is the one that's currently selected that I might do. Um, I don't want to do this one just yet. Um, Griffin, we might be able to do these guys. I already killed the Griffin. I don't know why that's still there. Uh, we'll be able to do these two soon. I'll be heading back to Novograd. I'm not going to be recording that. Uh, I don't know why this. 
why did it select that? Afraid be praised. We're gonna be doing some of these things just because they're really low. But I'm not gonna be recording it. All right, missing persons. Let's find Jennifer. All right, here we are. It's Shinder's fall, and there's Jennifer waiting for me. Nice. What's up, Jennifer? How are you? Greetings, Yen. Good thing you're here. The frostbite was starting to set in. Yeah, it was. You should have yeah, guessed we'll say that. <laughs> Next, you'll be pinning mittens to my coat. Can we go? Yeah. Quite a few years since I was last on Hindusfjall. But if I remember correctly, Lofoten should be this way. Well, I'd rather just find it myself. Raised huts and fresh graves. This must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. Well, she doesn't give a fuck, does she? She really does walk weird. I've got weird walk, Jennifer. Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Dear sisters. Pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So. And we're looking for someone who's still alive. <laughs> oh my god. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. Um, yeah, let's just say one. We're looking for a young woman, name of Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She is not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I buried so many, I may have forgotten. This, this Siri, uh, has she a scar here on her cheek? Well, yes. that's yes, not where her cheek is, but yeah. I don't know. Saw her but for a moment, right before, before it all. She was in the stables with Craven. A thousand curses upon him. Never say that. Remember anything else? Anything at all? Only that she seemed tired. Very tired. And and her hair was wet. Great. So we know she bathed. Progress. I'm sorry, Ska Craven. My apologies. Craven. Craven could have told you more. This Craven you mentioned, does he have a name? He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The law forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvag. What is... What is this? Morkvag. What's that? Who, you mean? The vilest man ever to inhabit Skellige. Nothing was ever sacred to him. He attacked his own clan's lands, took gold from Nilfgaard, killed children, pregnant women. Mm -hmm. Know the type. They said he feared only one thing, the wrath of the gods. Borgvarg sought to prove how wrong they were, so he sailed to Hindusfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. This was over a decade ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his way. He thrust a blade between her ribs and cast her down in the mud. As her lifeblood left her, she cursed him, and Morkvarg transformed into a beast. Curse? A monster? You've got some work to do. Yeah, I'll we'll just kill him. I can get rid of Morkvarg. Don't know what he's turned into, but a silver sword should do the trick. It's not that simple. There have been those who have bested Morkvarg, yet he always returns. So, it's a complex curse, meaning I need more information. I understand, but I've told you all I know. Speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He was in the garden when Morkvarg and his men attacked. He saw what happened. Of all the pilgrims there at the time, he alone escaped with his life. He settled in Larvik. You'll find him there at the landing, provided he's not out to sea when you arrive. 
Oh, Jesus, this is actually getting into a bit more than I was expecting. A coward who willingly seeks battle? Am I the only one who sees the contradiction? That's why he did it. Craven knew he would prove the elders wrong only if he killed Morkvarg. And thus regain his honor and his name. Trial by ordeal. Very Skellige. I do not mock your lords. Please also respect ours. All right, what bitch? Where is this holy garden? Not far from here, north. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever. All right, well, that was boring. Thanks for your help. <laughs> I understand you intend to enter the garden. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds. But so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. I am not doing that. I could not give a fuck about religion. Wait, hold on. Alright, this way. Alright, Yennefer, you're going the right way. Alright, alright. Yennefer's a tramp, confirmed. You know what? I'm gonna take a shortcut. Guard a treasure. Oh, please. Come on, come at me. Fire. Give us everything. Give me everything. Now. We'll, we'll take whatever's here. Look, I'm just going to go straight for the garden. Yennefer can just go away. Well, I found it. Do I have to go back for her? No, she's getting there. Alright. Alright, at least she follows. Alright. And here we go, Freya's garden. Looking fantastic. A bite. Just one morsel. <laughs> one piece. A crumb. Uh, food. Food. Uh. <coughs> Shite. Not, not again. Not again. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. He doesn't seem happy to see us. Wait till he gets a closer look at me. So, where shall we start? Let's go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily, but Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. Well, actually, when you're doing that, I want to see. Oh, I thought it was a chest. Oh, gay. So I believe this is the tree. Here we are. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains. See them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. <laughs> you. Which is why you should stay up here. No offense, but in that undergrowth and mud, you'd be like a... Ball and chain? Plan to say it gentler, but yeah, that's basically what I had in mind. Fine. We'll do as you say. If the need arises, I can cast spells from up here. Yeah, I expected her to object. Thought you might object. Me? Please. I can be extraordinarily conciliatory. Yen, look me in the eye. What are you plotting? Many things. How to seize the Temerian crown. How to sell Cam Morin out from under you. <laughs> Go already. What a whore. Follow Craven's footsteps. Craven's blood, flowing profusely, trails clear, should lead me to him. You marker, entrance, sure one. 
Oh, cutting. Where's the key? Chapter house, the crate, but the key. Where's the key? Ah. Why so silent, Robin? You thief, you rogue, you horseman, you worthless bastard! I will find the key without you, idiot, stupid prick! Let's go! Oh wow, that was easy enough. He's shit. Willing to talk now? Only now can I. Scratch is the curse. Uh, makes me bite. Uh, scratch. Mango. Uh, till I drop. Uh, you've got time before the blood's gone from me and, and I return. Listen uh, uh, carefully. Uh, undo, undo the curse. Uh, free me. Uh, finally, I will, I will reward you. Right, we'll, we'll just, uh, I might finish him off. Looking for a man named Craven. Apparently came here to kill you. Seems <laughs> it didn't work out. Those who come rarely introduce themselves. What did he look like? No idea. Then I cannot help you. Uh, I've shredded uh, uh, many. Uh, uh. You mentioned a reward. <laughs> mentioned a reward of some kind. Looted, raided, drunk most away, all but one. Uh, true treasure uh, hid away. Just help me. I want to kill him, but we'll ask him about being a werewolf. So, no joy in being a werewolf? Nay. It's the worst. Not the garden to which I'm bound, even. But the hunger. Anything I devour returns to ash. Ash, I cannot eat, I cannot drink, yet I bloody live in Rome and Prowl. The hunger is terrible, ah, terrible. I bite my own flesh. But the smallest morsel burns my throat like boiling tar. Everlasting hunger, classic as curses go, goes to explain why all those corpses went untouched. Help! Or I'll return to shred you, rip you limb from limb. Oh, yeah, go on. Might as well. See what I can do. See and do, or I shall return. There's no point. Uh, there's no point feeding him. Will we feed him? We'll feed him. Go on. Um, what have you got? Yeah, you can have some pork. Go on. Right, that's... Yeah, that'll do. 
see if we can do this the easy way. Morkvarg, of my own free will, I offer you this fair. Now dig in. Won't tell me to ask you. Won't know until you try. Come on, a spoonful for daddy. <laughs> Again. <laughs> All right. Farewell. See you soon. So I was gonna finish my off, but I had it. Oh. Yeah. No. I fin. I uh. I felt different about it. So I now know what to do. I'm lifting some quest joke, but look. Symbol of Freya. A lot of death. Untouched. No sign of feeding. Markvog doesn't devour his victims. Strange. Geralt, we've already been over this. Yeah? No, no, we'll, we'll listen. We'll listen. If I have to, I'm all ears. Warriors came. They knew they could not kill me. So they laid a trap. Chained me down. Lock me in here. Know what I did? I bit my leg off to free myself. Every bite brought pain and howling. I vomited blood. Mm -hmm. Biting off your own limbs hurts. Who would have thunk? You don't understand. This was more. My mouth burned like swallowing fire. As if all inside me was torn. Felt I would die. But I, I did it. And then. I shredded them, dashed them to bits, uh, made tiny crumbs uh, uh, of those plowing heroes. Uh. Story have a point. <laughs> Your story have a point. We're just doing some chest pounding. The moral is... Uh, you cannot kill me. You cannot stop me. I'll not be bound. I'll break any fetters. The curse. Free me. Or I'll return to get you again. I don't want to fight you, man. Where you going, man? Come on. I don't want to fight you, but you're forced me. You give me no choice. We are again. You can end this. Release me. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Farewell. See you soon. He's just begging for it. All he wants is to be killed. No, I don't blame him. We all want the same thing. We all want death. 
Now, Yennefer's doing a great deal to help. You know, she really is an amazing woman. Alright, I'm gonna save before I jump down here, just in case it decides to kill me. Well, we haven't exactly found Craven. Alright, this is difficult to see. Oh, hello. I think I found him. Damn, dead. Has been for a while. Yen, found him. And? And I've seen rot fiends in better condition than this. Shit. Fine, scrape together what you can and haul the bits up here. Yeah, what's the point? Yen, there's no point. There's no point in discussing this through a grate. We'll talk when you get here, all right? That's Yen, charming as ever. Look. Come on, someone wants to meet you. Look, girl, I don't know what you see in Yen. Trace is so much better. That's why I, you know, helped her. You know. Like, she just looks like a cocky shit. The vocal cords are intact. We might still get something out of him. Doesn't look like the talkative type. <laughs> Anyone can be made to talk, even a corpse. One must simply know how. Thought necromancy was strictly forbidden. So is premarital sex. But I'm not about to be bothered by such foolishness. <laughs> uh, straight to the point. Need any ingredients for the spell? Hmm. The blood of a newborn, a virgin's tongue, and the eye of a newt. Mind trying again without the sarcasm? I don't need a thing. I'm a sorceress, not a village herbalist. All I need is energy. A great deal of energy. We're very lucky this place is saturated with magic. It's also considered sacred. Priestesses will be furious if you use the garden's power to revive a corpse. All the more reason to get it over with before they realize what's happening. Alright, well, let's see. I can fight them all. Let's get to work. Taking our time there. Selene, Selene, Here we go. Dufresne. Selene, Selene, Davidar. Oh, it's gotten darker. <laughs> We're looking for Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. Have you seen her? She, she's wise. She, she I don't care about that. What happened to her? What was she doing here? Speak! No. Speak! Oh, we're going back in time. Nice. Alright. My computer's starting to scream, so I might have to stop soon. Sorry if you can hear it. Oh, it's a quab. Of course, the mage wears a mask. Faggot. Help me. Help us both. Is 
Siri. Zirel. Can you hear me? I can. I must leave you now. We will meet beneath drowned dead rock. Can you remember? <laughs> Repeat it. Drowned dead rock. Drowned dead rock it is. Once she decides to get out of bed. You're awake. And I thought you'd... Where, where am I? And who are you? It's all right. You're on Hindersfjall, village of Lofoten. They call me Skjall. But how did I... What? We fished you out of the sea. Me and that friend of yours. All right. Help, help me stand. I, I don't... I don't think you should... The less talk, the more giving me a hand. Ah, that's me brother for you. Out of sight for a second, and he's already put his paws on a girl. Astrid, you're as dim as dishwater. You know perfectly well I'm helping her up. It's a shame, I know, but I've got to interrupt your courtship. Come, we're off to the sauna. Where? Why is your mouth agape like you're noodling for an eel? The sauna. Girl, you was blue as a whale when we brought you in here. Your blood needs thawing. Yeah, we'll say that instead. I'm sorry, but I must get to Drowned Dead Rock as fast as possible. I shan't force you to stay. Well, the rocks are ways off and you can barely walk. You best take a horse. True. Skjall can prepare a horse for you. You'll have to wait a spell, but even so, you'll get there faster than on foot. Fine, that'll do. Thank you both very much. Pish posh, there's no need. Now come, we gotta sweat the sick out of you. Where are my clothes? I've taken them already. Come on. All right. So. That man in the mask, he's from afar, isn't he? Oh yes, from very far away. Jesus, the house exactly? is so low. Aren't you nosy? Surprised? Been sitting in this fish puddle me whole life. I'd love to travel like you. Like me? No, you wouldn't like that. Trust me. Alright, well I'm here. And she's not. Alright. In you go and get out of those rags. All of them. I should think so. Well, I don't like this. Use, I suppose. But I haven't got a choice. I didn't want to do this. I just wanted to go straight. Uh, obviously wrap yourself in a towel. Come on. Jesus, Siri is a classy woman. Wait, hold on. Alright, look, I don't think we have a choice. Dress and leave, but that's the towel that we already have on. Alright, fuck it, we'll go to sauna. Let's go. Okay, right, that makes more sense. Pimples? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a state of that. I was so worried. You'd... Ach, mom, you always worry. Everything's fine, ain't it? Mm. Yes, it's fine. Good. That's good. What's on your thigh, child? Is that a bruise? This? No. It's a tattoo. So it is. A red rose. It mean anything? Um, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, one. Get to the point. It's a souvenir of someone special who's dead now. I picture it already. You were promised to a handsome lad. He gave you a red rose before sailing off. But the cruel sea swallowed him. <laughs> Close. Eh, child. Those bards have stuffed your head with their foolish romances. Um, a little strange. Here we are, gabbing away. Steam's gone. Got to douse the coals. That looks like fire, not steam. Well, Say, all right. Back home. Have you got saunas too? I have no home. 
Nice. You know, I don't really have a home. I'm a traveler. Ah, oh, that's right. Where was your ship headed? Ship? We fished you out of the sea. We thought you were in a shipwreck. Yeah, well, let's get to the point. Yes. No, but we'll try not to do anything stupid. From Novigrad. And what brings you to Skellige? I'm here looking for someone. Not your betrothed, I hope. Why? It would break Skjall's heart. He's head over heels for you, girl. Sat at your bedside all the day, staring like you was painted by a master. Astrid, I asked you not to tell her. Oops. Well, now the milk's spilt. Do you fancy Skjall? No. No. <laughs> I prefer women. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh dear. <Yeah. laughs> I don't know what not. <laughs> he seems nice. Oh. oh my. He's that bad? Leave it, Astrid. Who she likes is her affair, and it's not to you. Listen, it's lovely sitting here with you, but I really must go now. I understand. Who'd want to stay in this hole? We're all related three times over and the air stinks of fish. Good point. I can't see how you're related to anyone here. No one in Lopatin groans and bitches quite like you do. So oh. you're to be quiet. Shots fired. Child. Skjald's certain to have readied the horses by now. But before you go, you ought to take a quick jump in the water. It'll do you good. No, no fuck off. I'm sorry, but I really must go. Thank you, once more. And once more, there's no need. Gods bless your journey. That was strange. Jump in the water, trigger shot, joint optional. I I'd like to put my clothes on. That, that would be nice. I just gotta find my room. I, I believe this is my room. That's... Dress and leave. There we go. Jesus Christ. Oh, we got all of our clothes back. Now. Her outfit's good. Now it's good. Before it was just... No. And the health's gone up. Oh, that's why you go in the water for. You get more health. Nah. That's going to be fun when I'm fighting. Oh. You're here. The horses are ready. As am I. Shall we ride? Listen, I... I hope... My sister, she didn't talk any nonsense to you, did she? No. Uh, let's go to... I just want to avoid that crap. I'm sorry, but I can't bring myself to chat right now. Right. Besides, it's not important. I'll take Njord. You can ride Grey back. She's old, but she'll make the... Run for your lives! You stay here. I'll go and... I can look after myself. Oof. That moment when the hunt arrives. Oh, here we go. Oh, you completely missed it. Oh, where's the sword? <laughs> she, she doesn't have her sword. Come on, let's go. Oh, we have a warrior now. This is the first time we fight one of these things since Geralt. Oh, there's two of them. Jesus. Can we please kill? Right, my health is disgustingly bad. Try to defeat. Oh, so uh, we are supposed to die, I believe. Oh, I just ran straight into them. Right, let's get to the the horse. I believe it's here. Let's go. What? What was that? The wild hunt. Ragnarok. The world's end. No, not yet. But I must go. They're here for me. Get on the horse. I'll show you the way to the rock. Uh. Yeah. You should point. stay. See to Astrid, your mum. Afterwards, 
Once I'm sure you'll make it. Let's go. Alright, well, at least I gave him the option, so morally he does fuck up. Yeah, oh Jesus, the amount of them. I don't get the point of him coming. Like, it's pointless. Alright, come on. Right, we're just gonna go to a point. Right, let's go. Okay. Yeah, we'll whip the sword out. Just keep it there. Okay, here we are. We got here. Did we? Yeah, we did. There he is. Nice. Straight to the point. They could just freeze the, the sea and then run on the ice. Oh, what the fuck? What became of that creature? Where is he? That was fun. He definitely enjoyed that. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, it's losing its leaves. Uh, let's get out of here. Yen, let's get out of here. Now. You needn't ask me twice. The garden! Our garden! Why could you? We helped! And you! Inconceivable! Now, now. Don't you dare try to calm me. We'd every right to be furious. Furious! And you, you will pay for this. No, we won't. We had no choice. We'd never have learned what happened to her. Do you really think you're justified? Yes. That your hunt for a foreign woman gives you the right to destroy our garden? Yes. I'm sure it doesn't in your eyes. I shall make sure all Skellige hears what you did here. Wait. I did this. I alone. Geralt tried to stop me. I refused to listen. I might have known. They warned me about you. Sorceresses. None shall open their door to you. 
None shall feed your hunger, and none shall tend to your wounds. Can we just kill them, please? I just want to murder them all. If this was me actually playing the game properly and you had unlimited options, I'd yeah, kill everyone. You didn't have to do that. But I wanted to. I'd rather not talk about it. We must focus on what Scal told us. Well. Yeah, we'll talk with the ugly creature. Key to finding Siri is that ugly thing Scal saw on the beach. That's what I think. You know, I saw something or someone who looked just like that. Where? In Velen, in a castle until recently ruled by a self-proclaimed baron, now controlled by his right-hand man, Sergeant Ardle. You must go and get the creature. I don't know, buy him, kidnap him. That thing was clearly cursed. Its mind is a jumble. Can't have anything resembling a normal conversation with it. Grumbling won't get us anywhere. All will be well. A curse, please. Nothing a sorceress and a witcher couldn't handle. Now... Tell me, do you... No, never mind. Well, yeah, well, no, get to the point. What do you want to say? You were going to ask me something. What was it? Tell me, do you think... Is there a chance that thing might be Siri? That, well, she's been transformed by some curse? Don't even want to think about it. Geralt, we must. Might be. From what I know, she was looking to cure a powerful curse while in Novigrad. But I'll lose it if I try to deal with that possibility now. We have to do what we can. See what happens. Right, so we know that she's not in Skellige, So I can leave. Didn't learn much. Though, though we can be sure Ciri's not in Skellige anymore. Not in Velen or Novigrad either. She's disappeared. Again. Perhaps we should re-examine what we've learned. We might have missed a clue that would push us forward. Certainly hope that's the case. Uh, makes me wonder what she's gotten herself into. Can't even begin to imagine. But we will pull her out of it. Safe and sound. That I promise you. Yeah, so what are we going to do now? Ciri's trail in Skellige. We followed it, exhausted the possibilities. Might be time to go back to the continent. Before you do, there's one thing. It's important. What's that? Let's meet in Larvik, at the Warriors' Hall. We'll speak there. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do two, just because I want to do Can some we stuff. Do this later. Sorry, need to take care of something. Well, if you must, you must. I shall wait for you in Larvik for a time. If you don't make it, we'll meet in Vizima. After all, we do owe the Emperor a report. Ciri's our concern, ours alone. Perhaps. But that is not what we agreed with Amir. We must see him. Yeah, awfully loyal. Being awfully loyal to your patron. He's your patron as well, dear. Don't forget that. Lest he remind you of it himself. Yeah, I don't want to go to him. I refuse. Don't have the slightest intention of reporting to him. Fine. I can't force you. See you again. Take care of yourself. Wait. This matter in Larvik. It really is important to me. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tarry. Okay. Well, you know what? I was going to stop there, but because she's just after emphasizing the importance of it, I think I will uh, just go to Larvik. All right. As you can hear, my computer. Hold on. In the background, that is the computer. Also, uh, there's also something that sounds like... Um... Oh, what's this? Oh, that's Larvik. Oh. Oh. Okay, I didn't think that was Larvik. Um, yeah, so it sounds like... Uh... What's it? Static from the mic, but it's not. It's not static, it's the fan and the rain in the game. It's like a mixture of the two that makes it sound like static. I swear. Alright, here's Larvik. Just get to the point. Did I pass her? No, I didn't. Okay. 
Gee, I wasn't sure what was happening there. All right, into Larvik. Jennifer, hello. Always did know how to win, friends. I was provoked. Mm -hmm. Saw it happen. Wanted to talk to me about something? Amos Far Ipsis. A specialist on jinns. Heard of him? I found a tome he'd penned in the Emperor's library. Far Ipsis set off for Skelliger one day and was never heard from again. I asked some of the local folk. Some here still remember him. Yeah, why are you interested, Jen? Why are you even interested? Jinns are dangerous sometimes and malicious all the time. I remember. But the advantages outweigh the risks. If I can tame a jinn, I shall gain incredible power. And that could be useful to us one of these days. Uh, yeah, let's get yeah, let's do it. Nowhere to look for the mage and the jinn? The locals say they last saw Amos's ship off the coast of Hindusfjall, just before a once in an eon storm broke. Dad will find them then. Mage is probably fish food, and the jinn escaped. Not necessarily. But even if it is so, I'll not give up without seeing some evidence. Will you help me? I've no gold to offer in reward, but I shall be ever so grateful. Yeah, it sounds like an XP out of it, then you're a sure one. Since you put it that way, fine, I'll help you. Thank you. A boat awaits in the harbor. Come. Let's do this. is going to be fun. Last wish. All right, let's save again, just so I have a save. We're getting close to the so fun part. to prepare everything already. I have. How could you possibly know I'd agree? I didn't. Decided to risk it. No, well, that's awfully, awfully smart of you, I suppose. I don't know. I'm going to be doing all these quests just off camera because I just want to get straight to the point. So. Lead the way. Just once, you might try to take the initiative. Would you even let me? Oh, shots fired. Oh, oh, are we getting the big one? How far are we going out for this? Talk to Yennefer. Is Yennefer coming? Oh, there she is. She's taking her time, as usual. Alright. Come on. This is Skellige. That's great enough, lot. Jennifer, hurry the fuck up, you fat, skinny, jiggly bitch. On the situation. Uh, okay, hello? Let me talk. Oh, of course you get the small one. The ship carrying the gin sank somewhere in this area. Not too precise as leads go. I'll cast a spell on our boat. We'll know if there are any wrecks on the seafloor below us. Let's get to work. Mind if I take the helm? <sighs> I got a choice. No. Oh. <laughs> okay, shut a bitch. Get on the boat with Yennefer. I am on the boat with Yennefer. Can I take the helm? Um. Geralt, how long must I wait? Are you ready to sail? Yes. I, I, I can't do anything. <laughs> the fuck? Getting in or not? Um, I, I, I am in. Am I doing something wrong? Oh, there we go. You have to sit there. Oh, I want to sit beside her. That's shit. Not sure this gin thing's a good idea. We managed to seize one before. Do you remember? I do. Of course. Dandelion almost lost his voice that time. <laughs> how lucky your exorcism saved it. It was part. Yeah, how was I supposed to know that incantation meant be gone and plow yourself? You should have studied foreign languages. I'm gonna keep bringing that up for the rest of my life. Of course. Your last wish effectively assured it. My wish was about us being together always, not about you mocking my every mistake. You wish for. And when your wish is granted, you must accept it with all attendant circumstances. Uh, yeah, and you're heading straight for a rock. And as for your missteps, yeah. I don't like you see why I shouldn't laugh. Yeah. Yeah, and stop. We don't want another Titanic. Here on the bottom. It's too deep here. You can't dive that long. You underestimate me. 
Alright, let's go. Oh wow, look at this. Right, give me a look. Come here. Come on, let's go. How's it going? Yeah, you know I hate it when you read my mind. Strictly speaking, I'm not reading your mind, but using telepathy. Besides, you've nothing to hide, right? You wouldn't admit it if I did. Right. See anything interesting? A shipwreck in the cavern. I'll look inside. Oh, look at this. Give me this. Give me. Ah, oh, I thought it was going to be something interesting. Snapped masts, busted planks. And a whole swarm of drowners, probably drawn by the corpses of drowned crew. They made their nest here. There's also a Clan Drummond figurehead. Not the right ship. Come back up. Yeah, I'm on my way up. Just give me a second. I think you have a limited underwater breathing, I think, for this mission. That's kind of cool. I like that. That's a good addition, because I don't think I would have been trying. Oh, actually, I might have. Hold on. Just take my time swimming around. Now, please... Don't sail forward into the rock, all right? There's no lifeboats here. You're, you're still not turning. All right, there we go. All right. I don't know why we let a woman control the ship. I mean, this is terrifying. Oh, is this going to be a long, Say we find a long the part? What will you do? Ask for a beautiful house and a palace and a queen's crown? Are we still talking about the gym? Or have we moved on to a talking fish? Doesn't much matter. Both make wishes come true. What would yours be? You learn in due course. All right. Um. I don't really know how long this mission is. I I thought this would have been quick enough. Do we have to fight the gin as well? Something's here. Another wreck. Let's see if our gin's down there. All right. Let's have a look. All right, so there's lots of air pockets, and it looks like a ship. I know it's really fucking dark. Yeah, on on streamlabs, it's practically black, except for the UI. All right, there's a part up there. I know that, but I don't want that. Beautiful craftsmanship. Beautiful craftsmanship. <laughs> Beautiful craftsmanship. A war horn bearing Clan Haymai symbols. Here we go. Get there. Got something. Skelliger's buckler, Clan Haymai symbols. Donar's clan. Donar was a babe in swaddling clothes when this buckler landed here. Long ship belonged to Clan Dimmon. Yen. Doubt any of these boats were the mages. These are old sunken long ships. Come back then. We must search elsewhere. Hold on, I'm not finished. Arrows stuck in the side. The kind Pharaoh folk use. Alright. Let's get up here because it's taking its time. Okay, we're nearly there. I say there'd probably be three sections, so I say we're going on to the last part of the first section. All right, let's go. Oh, dear. Go even quicker if you helped me down there. I prefer to observe matters from up here. Most I know definitely. you do. Yeah, like when we were looking for the golden dragon and an avalanche swept us off the trail. Me clinging to the remains of a bridge for dear life. You gripping my waist, admiring the view. Remember, the chasm below us was breathtaking. Rustling trees, a lazily flowing stream. I remember. Though I found myself admiring what I had right in front of me. Aw, so romantic. <laughs> oh dear. So we're at the Schelliger Isles. Alright, interesting. <sighs> Something strange about those rocks. And there's something on the bottom. I'll see what it is. Alright, this is gonna be fun. This is huge, so. Bitch, dive. Oh, fuck. 
What a fucker. Come on, come at me. Bitch. Now, do you have that? See something? Something doesn't do it justice. A huge crater, as if a meteorite landed here. I must see it. Diving in after all? No, I should cast another spell to see through your eyes. Now relax. I soon fall to a here we go. Oh, look at that cup, bright. Oh, yeah, give us that. Give that us... is no meteorite crater. What is it then? The effect of teleportation. A powerful force cut out a fragment of the seabed. I soon fall to a bathem ein achter illeveid. Alright, so I think she got rid of that. Oh, hello. Only found half. Can you do anything with this? I can use it to locate the other half, to within a dozen yards. And once we find that, we should find the gym. Exactly. Ready? I'll take us there on the count of three. Oh, no, not another point. <laughs> Stop whining. One, two. He's such a bitch. We must search the area. Yen, not so fast. Gotta tell me what this is about first. Why do you want this jinn? But you already know. A jinn's power is priceless to a mage. Yeah, I wonder why she wants it. That I know. But I also want to know how you plan to use it. Wouldn't go to these lengths if it wasn't something important. You're right. It's important. Even very important. How long has this been going on, Geralt? This thing between us? 15, 20 years? We repeatedly split up, then return to one another. Something draws us to each other, but I can never be certain if it's a true feeling or merely a bit of mischief by a djinn. So that's it. This is about my last wish? You asked that djinn to bind us together forever. I want to ask this one to take that wish back. Oh! Oh, that's some shot. Why would you want to do that? To see what it's like without it. To see if we'll still matter to one another. Or if we'll be like two strangers. Okay. Hmm. Wondered that myself many times. You see? We're just a step away from learning the truth. I to be honest, I don't really care about Yen. First is where it's at. Let's search the ship. Alright. Oh, why is it up here for? What the fuck? It's on a mountain. She thought it was some explosion. Fuck me. Seems Amos was quite the eccentric, asking the djinn to lift half his ship to a mountaintop. We didn't necessarily. Djinns are inherently mischievous. This one might have granted his wish and perverted it in doing so. In that case, I'd appreciate it if you didn't wish I'd disappear from your life. I've yet to decide how to word it. <laughs> Alright, well, found it. Nothing interesting here. No, I didn't. Well, I think Geralt does need a bit of a trim, so that's what he's Nothing using here. for. Alright, well, let's get out. I want to go below deck, but I don't think it's possible. Well, there's something down there. I believe it's possible. How the fuck am I going to get there? Oh my god, there's stairs here the whole time. And she's just standing there, scratching her arms. Now, I'm going to loot everything. Mystery of mysteries. This spam everything. I oh, I think that's the gin. I, I don't care about that. I wonder what this means. Okay. It's a lot of red stuff here. I, I only care about the white stuff. For the moment. Batista. Or the yellow stuff. I can't color. Nice shoes. Looks like the impact with the mountain was so powerful it popped the wearer right out of them. Nice shoes. No, I just. Looks like the impact with the mountain was so powerful it popped the wearer right out of them. That mage must have slept Great. here. Wonder what this means. I wonder what this means. <laughs> Blood. Someone was dragged across the deck. War left this mark when the ship suddenly tipped to one side. All right. Two more things, and then we're done. Mm. Nothing interesting here. No, all right. And then this has to be the gin. I thought the gin had a handle on it. Nothing here. Really? 
Wow. I don't think there's anything else. Is there? Did I miss something? I thought I got everything. Alright, sorry, Yennefer, but there's nothing here. Since you're just standing there scratching your arsehole. Alright, let's get up here. Maybe there's something that I missed. I don't see anything. I don't see anything. Am I missing anything? Well, obviously I'm missing something. I don't know why she wants me to do it. She should be helping. Alright, let's just give this a proper look around. Oh, we gotta push it. Oh, would you look at that? Yen, I think you should see this. What do you have? It's Amos. Looks exactly like the etching in the book. Except his head was intact there. Think the djinn did this to him? No, it wouldn't attack its master. This looks rather like an unfortunate accident. When the storm broke, Amos must have uttered a wish like, take us away anywhere, to a mountaintop even. And the djinn granted the wish literally. They had a hard landing. Amos was thrown off his feet and against the wall. The bookcase did the rest. Always knew too much studying could kill you. <laughs> nice. That's my excuse for college. If he died while being teleported, Seal might still be on him. Behold. Bravo. Come to the deck. I have an idea. Oh no. We're not. Oh. I don't know. The ship felt like it was tilting there. Right, out of the way, bitch. Alright. We're not fighting this thing up here, are we? Come with me. But we're on the top of the deck. Alright. Up to the ferry top. Step back a bit. What are you going to do? Summon and tame the djinn. It's not likely to be happy. Stand at the ready. Can we move? I, I, I can't move, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm actually stuck. I'm, I'm stuck. There we go. What the fuck is happening? Keep doing this. Alright, don't worry. We're doing a good job. There we go. That should be enough. Storm's over. Yes. It's all over. Maybe we should sit. You look a bit dazed. I'm not, but we can sit.
I'm just sitting off the side to shift casually, all right. <laughs> Jesus. Feel any better? I told you, I'm fine. Don't need to play tough for me. That was a hard fight. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Maybe not as hard as the last time we tamed a gin, but still. <laughs> no comparison, I'm afraid. Half of Rhine suffered then. Now I'm merely a bit tired. Thank you for coming, Geralt. I'd have had a much harder time of it on my own. Uh, no, we'll, we'll see if one refuse. Well, never could say no to you. Hmm. Perhaps that will change now. Feel anything? That anything's different? Hmm. I expected... I don't know what I expected, actually. A bit of vertigo, perhaps. I thought... You'd become a stranger to me. That I'd look at you and not feel a thing. But it's not like that at all. Nothing's changed. No, I'm sorry, I don't want to be with you anymore. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll, we'll say we love you. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll be a pimp. We'll keep him at her interests around. Why not? Jen might have cheated us after all. Why? Because I don't feel that anything's changed either. I love you, Yen. Oh, that's twice I've said and to people. I love you. Geralt's such a pimp. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm telling you, Triss is where it's at, Geralt. You just remember that. Just because Triss isn't here at the moment, we'll just borrow Yen. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> oh, it should be sad. that? Be all sweetness and light. Strange. Done that so many times. But it felt like our first kiss to me. It was in a way. Besides, once you say I love you, a kiss has to taste differently. Um. Uh, yeah, one. Go on. Maybe we ought to test a few other things. Amos's cabin looked cozy. Not so fast, Geralt. We'll have plenty of time to visit cozy cabins later. Shit, she's on to me, guys. <laughs> I doubt the world will end if we sit here a while. What a tramp. <sighs> my, it's lovely. Mm -hmm. I think the spirits of Skellige favor us. Oh, did they teleport? Oh, look, I saw a flash. I thought it was a teleport. Yes, we did. Interesting. Next time we go on horseback. A horse would never make it down that mountain. What now? Well, I'm due to appear in Vizima. Yeah, let's talk before you leave. Let's see what yeah, happens. What happened back there? It was very nice. Let's not ruin it by hashing out the details. I'm going to see the Baron. Collect Uma from him, then we'll ride for Kaer Morin. I shall join you as quickly as I can. See you again. Take care of yourself. Alright. So, apparently we got a... We gotta get to the Baron, which I'm not gonna do now. I'm gonna be doing all the side quests that Skellige has to offer before we do anything like that, since I'm still not highly rated. So it wants me to go to Felon. And back to the Baron. Where is Cross Perch? Do you want to take Uma? I should be here, shouldn't I? I'm not being blind, am I? Yeah, so it's... Oh, there's a question mark here. What? I got rid of all question marks. Alright. Well, anyway, uh, this is where I'm going to end this part. I'm going to be doing all the side quests of Skellige. Now, uh, Skellige was actually really short. I thought that was going to be the longest section. Well, apparently, uh, Felon and Novigrad were the longest sections. Well, I'm going to level up 
before I go back to Kermorn, finish Galaga, explore everything, see if there's anything I can steal. And I might do the feline hunt stuff for the for the upgrades and then go to Kermorn. So in terms of recording, I'll probably be a week before I actually record again, so I'm gonna